Good morning, American families, and good morning to our, our welcome to all our international families.、Uh, you are here for another episode of Morning Heart Devotion. My name is Yasutaka Ozawa, and I'll be serving as your MC for the next few days.、Uh, so thank you for having me. And let's start off by offering our greetings to our heavenly parent and true parents. Chongjing, Champunimke, Kyombe. Paro, and to lead us in、uh, family pledge, I'd like to welcome up Reverend Mohan Stevens. Kajang Meng Se, Il, Chanyo Guk Chuin, Uri Kajang and Cham Sarangul Jungshim Hago, Pon Hyang Tangul Chaja, Ponyone Changjo Yi Sangin, Jisang Changukwa, Chansang Changugul, Changon Harkusul Meng Se Hanaida. 이전녀국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고하늘부모님과참부모님을모시어전주의대표적가정이되며중심적가정이되어가정에서는효자국가에서는중심세계에서는성인전주에서는성자의가정의도리를완성할것을맹세하나이다삼천여국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고사대심정권과삼대왕권과황족권을완성할것을맹세하나이다사천여국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고하늘부모님의창조이상인천주대가족을형성하여자유와평화와통일과행복의세계를완성할것을맹세하나이다오천여국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고매일주체적천상세계와대상적지상세계의통일을향해전진적발전을촉진화할것을맹세하나이다육자녀국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고하늘부모님과참부모님의대신가정으로서천연을움직이는가정이되어하늘의축복을주변에연결시키는가정을완성할것을맹세하나이다칠자녀국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고본연의혈통과연결된위하는생활을통하여심정문화세계를완성할것을맹세하나이다팔천여국주인우리가정은참사랑을중심하고천여국시대를맞이하여절대신앙절대사랑절대복종으로신인의일체이상을이루어지상천국과천상천국의해방권과석방권을완성할것을맹세하나이다 Thank you, Reverend Stevens. And for our opening prayer, I'd like to invite up Mrs. Alexa Ward to give us the opening prayer. <clears throat> Please join me in prayer. Loving Heavenly Parent, we are so grateful to start this day with you. We are so grateful to put you first in our lives through this morning devotion. This simple act, which has become a tradition now in our lives, is really changing us. And for that, we are very, very grateful to you and grateful to Dr. Yang. We pray that. On this morning, as every morning, we can really open our hearts and we can begin this day turning our minds and our hearts toward you and opening, opening them deeply to receive from one another as brothers and sisters, to receive from Dr. Yong, to receive from you. So we pray that you can be comforted by the growing number of brothers and sisters. Around the world, who are participating in this and taking it seriously, who really want to 
change their lives and grow their hearts, who want to come closer to you, who want to really fulfill their responsibility as your filial children. We thank you for all of this and we ask for your blessings on this time and on every single one of us and on all of those who are not on this call as well. And we report this upholding all of our names, everyone here and the names of Thomas and Alexa Ward, Bless Central Family, Aju. Aju. Thank you so much, Mrs. Ward. So now uh, let's uh, take this time, next few minutes, to share our gratitude points, appreciation points with each other. Uh, please stay three to five uh, points so that it gives everyone a chance to share. And for those of you watching the recording, uh, please take time to reflect with yourself or share with the person sitting directly next to you. So let us enjoy and have a breakout.
All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, thank you for sharing. I hope you had were had wonderful sharings with each other. I know I did. And um, to uh, share with everybody, uh, I'd like to invite up Sujin Ogden. Sujin Ogden, if you can um yourself, please. Good morning, everyone. Um, this morning I was with. A couple people and yeah it was Periot and um, Milhan Stevens and I shared about three points um, the first one was being really grateful for the content that Dr. Young has been sharing with us every morning specifically about God's heart God's heart of sorrow um, I was reflecting on how like before having such a consistent time period in the morning to reflect on my relationship with God is a lot, it was a lot easier to be more focused on my own struggles, like my own sorrow or the things that are difficult in my life. But Dr. Young every morning is like really talking about God's heart. And I've been, I've been thinking a lot more in my prayers about God's heart and just it's it's been a really good experience because I, I know that God has been really close to me as my parent, but I haven't really been thinking about, you know, God so often. So through Dr. Young's guidance, I've been able to think more about God's heart. So I'm really grateful for that. And then I shared that I was really grateful for True Mother's autobiography. I've shared that a couple times, but I just, I really, I read it every morning and I really love the words that your mother wrote. And I feel like I'm just able to like connect to her and see her perspective. It's always really mind blowing. She's mm -hmm. always really, mm -hmm. yeah, has a lot to say and I just really appreciate it. And then the third point was the community, being able to connect in the morning with the community, you know, cause we're all one family. So that's what I'm grateful for. Wow, beautiful yeah. sharing. Sujin, 감사합니다. Really, really 감사합니다. Thank you. Thank you, Sujin. Um, and I'd also like to invite up uh, the Olgado couple, if they can share their gratitude points as well. So please unmute yourself. Um. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Uh, yeah, my point of gratitude um, today is uh, I was sharing about the prayer. Um, I'm sorry. I have some experience. Um, uh, some brothers and sisters in my family asking for, for prayer for some um, uh, health issues. They was in the hospital, but um, because I think the grace of God, um, they was able to recover and go back home. And uh, and they are so grateful. And they are really listening to to the morning devotion. And because of the the translation also in Spanish, they are listening and they are sharing how much. They are able to understand the heart of God, and the because even they are having you know the the family in the hospital uh, that making us to um, to to be able to to work more and 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 that and and understand more. So I so grateful and thank you so much, Doctor Young. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Husband, Ruben. Yes, uh, my gratitude. Uh, want to add with my wife uh, about prayer. I was reminded by Dr. Yong about uh, are you praying for tears for praying for this country, America? So uh, yesterday, we have a great meeting in an ethnic group, a daughter young, a Filipino community. 
And uh, we have been reminded of our uh, calling, uh, why we are here in America as a uh, Missionary. Uh, missionary, yes. So, <laughs> doing that, uh, I launched my online community mm. with my tribe, my wife, uh, family, and my family as well. And uh, my wife's family is responding and very much uh, supporting and attending morning devotion through Spanish translation. Uh, here, elder sister is listening to you, Dr. Young, mm. and very much like mm. your messages and your guidance. Mm. Even though her husband already passed away, but mm. she really understand your message mm. and how I uh, really love your partner and really bringing uh, such kind of still intimate relationship, even though in the spirit world. No. So this is my additional prayer. Uh, Mm. kind of uh, reflection and hoping that we can uh, as a couple serve more this country as missionary thank, thank you, so you Ruben and Olga do. Kamsamida. thank you so much thank you thank you very much Olgado couple uh, so yes before we uh, I introduced Dr. Young uh, I was notified that I should introduce myself so Hello everyone. Um, my name is Yasutaka Ozawa. You can call me Yasu for short. And um, I live in Nutley, New Jersey and attend uh, the Clifton Family Church. And I currently serve as the youth pastor uh, at here at my local church. And yeah, my parents are both Japanese, but I was always born and raised here on the East Coast, New York, New Jersey area. So uh, I love God. I love your parents and I love you, Dr. Young, and I love <laughs> the American family. So thank you for having me. <clears throat> and so uh, with that, uh, I'd like to invite up uh, Dr. Chung Shik Young uh, mm. to lead us in morning, our main service and morning devotion. Mm. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Ohayou gozaimasu. Ni hao ma, bonjour. Buenos dias, bonjour no. Magandang umaga po, sayon lahat. Sawadikap. Namaste. My dear brothers and sisters, 안녕하십니까? Uh, today is a very, very beautiful morning. And then uh, I see now new MC, so face. Yasu, thank you for your becoming MC. Yesterday I talked about the person who endlessly cries for heaven's will, have eternal growth. Wow, this is an amazing father's word. You know, as a fallen man, without knowing God's heart, how can, you know, how can we grow up? So it's, you know, since Adam and Eve fell, we really need to understand God's heart. He has Peter heart. That's why as a child, when we console and comfort his sort of heart, that is the best way to, you know, uh, our spirit can grow up. That's why Father is talking about Today, I'd like to talk about know that God shed tears for me. If we really understand how much God shed tears for you, for me, for you, then automatically you can build up the relationship, parent and child, between God and myself. This is an incredibly important point. 
I'd like to invite Heavenly Honey to read Father's speech. Can you imagine this Father's word? You know, volume four means, I think, 1957, 1956 or 1957. So very earlier Father's speech. So let's uh, study Father's word. Know that God sheds tears for me. You must no now become people who can offer all your sorrows for the sake of heaven. People who can dedicate everything up before heaven. You will then come to know that he is the parent who has shed tears for your sake that he has shed tears for the sake of this world. Only once you recognize he is the parent who has clung on to you while shedding tears, can he truly stand in the position of heavenly parent and true parents can become your Lord. Should a person standing in such a position exist, he will become aware of the harsh environment God is living in while shedding tears for our sakes. Thank you so much. And then uh, recently, True Mother often mentioned whenever you read the fathers who are talking about, you know, father say, Heavenly Father, 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 and then mother ask us to correct and then put heavenly parents. That's why, you know, you know, original translation, father talking about the father. And then I just put, I changed that only word. I think let you understand about that point. Yeah. Um, know that God sheds tears for me. First of all, uh, offer all of your sorrows for the sake of heaven. You need to decide to only live for the sake of God. Make up your mind that you won't cry for your own self from now on. We need to think that you know, I have to be responsible for God's sorrow. Then, automatically, my any sorrow can be solved. Another meaning, if I am responsible for God's sorrow, Immediately, I can digest my own sorrow. God will be responsible for my sorrow. Therefore, no need to worry about my sorrow. No need to worry about my bitter heart. Just I focus on God's sorrow. I just worry about him. I just worry about his will. I just worry about his, uh, you know, his wishes. When I focus on his wishes, when I responsible for his job, when I worry about him, and then come, quickly my sorrow disappear. That's why as a son, as a daughter, as a filial son and daughter, what is our job? Our job is uh, I need to responsible my parents' difficulty. I have to be responsible for my parents' cross. If I just only focus on that, I do not cry just for me. I think about him and worry about him and then console just for him, then no need to worry about my own situation. This kind of the attitude is uh, attitude of the 
filial piety. Father never cried for himself. He always cried for God. Jesus, he never worry himself. He cried for Israel people. He cried for Jewish people. He cried for all mankind. He cried for each one of his disciples. He cried for his enemy. That was our model. Jesus was our model. Even on the way, crucified. <laughs> he never worried about him. He worried about God's will. I can die any time for God's will. However, if I die, God, you need to suffer another 2,000 years in order to send second coming. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Parents, there is no way I can survive. I can carry on your will, Heavenly Father. However, no choice. Through my sacrificial offering, there is a way to save for human being, even spiritual salvation. Okay, Heavenly Father, I am ready to die. If we Christian people really misunderstanding, and then when he when he died on the cross, then, oh Heavenly Father, why you abandon me? You know. They do not understand Jesus' heart. He never worry about him. Never. That's why. Jesus is our father. He's an he's amazing guy. Jesus is our father. Until the moment of die, he worry about God's will. He worry about Israel people. If I crucify, then what kind of punishment will come to this nation? He really worry about the Israel future. How much they will suffer. He just cried for his enemy. One Roman soldier kill him and pray for him. He never care of his own death. He never afraid of his, his death. That's why we call him. He is my savior. He is my true father. How can we inherit that kind of Jesus spirit? Loving people more than himself. Loving God more than himself. Loving God's future more than any other one. Because of that kind of pure heart, sincere heart, sacrificial heart, lead Christian 2000 years history. That was Jesus. Through father, through mother, they are the one who completely inherit such Jesus' sorrowful heart. Our true father inherited Jesus' sorrowful heart. He inherited Moses' heart. He inherited Abraham's heart. He inherited Noah's heart. He inherited God's sorrowful heart. After he inherited you know, all historical figures' sorrowful heart and even God's sorrowful heart, and then after paying the indemnity, and then he become more strong. And then he talking about at the time, you know, and joy and happiness and peace. Many brothers and sisters maybe misunderstand me. Why? God, why 
Dr. Young continuously talking about God's sorrow, God's sorrow. I went, I went, I hear continuously about the God's sorrow, and then uh, my feelings are so much heavy. I understand about that. But we need to know that God is a God of a sorrowful God. First step, formation step, we need to know His reality, His sorrowful heart, and then let's. Let, you know, lay down, let's talk about more what the process of the true father's guidance. That's why we are now beginning step. We need to understand clearly about the God's reality, God's situation, and gradually let's grow together according to father's guidance. You know? You need to know that God has shed tears for the sake of me and this world. In order to experience this, this is very important. In order to experience this, God shed tears for me. Think about your own growth process and think about how many tears heaven shed to grow and guide you. When I think about my growth process, tears come out of knowing how much heaven has trained me. I come to know how heaven drove me out to get rid of my fallen nature. You know, uh, always I feel, you know, I always I feel uh, God's love to me. This is my own personal experience. Sometimes I often think about my past. Since I joined our movement. And then until now. And I, I, about, I think back about my life of faith. 17 years old boy joined unification movement. I first time came to know God is alive. God does exist. I happily accept God does exist at that time. You know, my, in my life, it was really, really, really shocking news to me. Why? God does exist. However, I do not feel he is my father. But only I can feel that God is alive. God is a living God. And then God asked me to join seven day workshop you know at the time i just you know high school student and then i could not have money to pay for workshop fee so in order to borrow money i delayed one day and finally i joined the workshop However, I just entered the workshop hall. Incredible tears, uncontrollable tears come down. Whole week. God tell me that God is a God of sorrow. I first time understood God is God of sorrow. He teach me how we lead in the human history. He teach me. And then I'm struggling, you know, I need to go to the university or I, uh, what, what to do. And then God tell me that not to go to university. You need to go to Korean UTS. So I gave up. I followed God's direction. I came to Korean UTS and met Reverend Yohan Lee. And 
And then I learned so many things through Reverend Yohali. What I learned the most, who is the true father. Secondly, I understood God is a God of bitter heart. And then when I studied two years in Korean UTS, I cried so much. And then I went to, I joined the Korean army and came back. And then I want to study more. Then God told me to not study. You need to go to Korean UTS again to serve Reverend Yohanni. I spent time for around five years with him. I learned so many things. I got a clear motivation. What is the life of faith? Life of faith is to become true man or true woman. I learned the meaning of the sincerity. I really know that what's the meaning of faith? Meaning of the faith is to have artistic relationship with all things, with all people, with God. I learn incredible things. And then God asked me to get out from Korean UTS. You leave Reverend Yohanni. You need to become the pioneer. Even though Reverend Yohan Lee asked me to not to go, but I need to follow God's will. And then I joined the pioneer mission. I could not witness, even though five months or six months, I could not restore even one guy. No members. And then one day I climb up the mountain and I pray God. And then God came to me. God said, are you lonely? Yes, I am lonely because I don't have any object pattern. And then I just, tears come down and crying and crying. He said, do you know? how much I was lonely. Now you know that. During pioneering time, I one thing realized that God is a God of loneliness. I seriously realized that. So I know that. Why God do not give even one spiritual children <coughs> five to six months. Let me experience that. God is a God of the loneliness. <coughs> and then I moved to another church. And then God asked me, quit your job. Follow through Father's direction to become the missionary. I become the missionary. I had a chance to serve Malaysia and Singapore for five years. In the late down, God told me, you need to join to 40 day workshop in Changpeng to become national messiah. Yes, I become national messiah. Went to Commonwealth of Dominica. And then through Father, give the 120 Japanese missionary to all South America national messiahs. We could not enter. We got so much persecution. Even Puerto Rico. And I brought 120 Japanese missionary to Washington, D.C. I stayed there one and a half years. And then God asked me to go to Japan through Father. 
mobilize all national messiah of the South America to help Japan problems. I stayed two years. And then again went back to Korea. And then I become the pioneer again. At the time, I got a number one result of the witnessing and blessing result among 530 churches. And then God asked me to become continental director to Oceania. Later on, moved to Asia. And then finally, Tormada asked me to come to America. I came to realize that my 46 years experience in our movement, I think back my life. It was incredibly God's guidance. Every part, every area, how much he raised on me, loved me, care of me, he confessed his heart. And then finally came to America. I realized that America is the center of the world. Serving America means I serve the world. When I think back about my life, each step, how much he worry about me, how much he train up. When I when I lonely, then he said, I lonely too. He confessed his love. He care of me. That's why sometimes when I'm struggling about something, God, where are you? When I think back about my life since I joined church until now, I just tears and tears and tears come down. When I suffer, he suffer with me together. When I cry, he cry more than me. What I'm talking about here, you need to know that God has shed tears for the sake of me and this world. Until I become continental director of the America, until I coming to America, how much Heavenly Father sacrificed for me? How much He cried for me? In order to remove my fallen nature, how much Heavenly Father guiding me through my conscience, you know, non-stop. My senior brothers and sisters, older brothers and sisters in America, you just only think you're your past life since you joined church until now. I think everybody will appreciate God. Even Father talking about, you know, I don't know exactly, I do not know when, when Father talking about. When he think back his life, he said, everything was God's love. That's why, my brother senses this. We need to really appreciate until raise up this much. How much God pour out his heart, his tears and sweat and blood. You know, actually God, he did his absolute best for me. Incredible tears. We need to recognize that kind of God's supporting and sacrifice. I seldom share about my testimony today. I just roughly need to be share about that. You know, to know other people, 
listen to their testimonies through the testimonies of the other people we need to know the tears of God behind them you know to train and grow them sometimes you know when i was young when i i when i be, when i uh, uh leading the members i was struggling oh that kind of person no need to come to church but always complain and complain complain and complain <laughs> i need to deal with all kind of the members but i learned that each one of them are God's sons and daughters. When I hear their own testimony one by one, then I can know that the tears of God behind in order to raise up them, how much God shed tears. So when I hear their testimony, my God, how much Heavenly Father love them, love her, Love him. That's why testimony is very important. When you, when we, we when, whenever we have a chance, they need to hear their testimony. How heavenly Father raised up him with his tears and investment, with his sacrifice. That's why in, in order to love someone, truly need to know his past. How heavenly Father guide him. Need to know the tears of God behind them. That's why without knowing restoration of the uh, God's restoration, we do not know about the God's heart. I need to know that heavenly parents shed tears for me so that I can receive God as my parent. So when I think back on my life, reflect on my life, then I automatically came to understand how much God loves me. And then automatically, automatically I can receive God as my parents. I came to understand that how much he loved me, then automatically I can confess that God you are my father. You are my mother. I really deeply appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. Without you, I am not here. Thank God, Heavenly Parents. You need to feel that you have a personal, artistic relationship with God. This is the fundamental relationship. When we go to spiritual world, living in spiritual world, not just only 10 years or 100 years, not million years, forever, that is eternal world. Forever with Him, with God. Some people just come and go and disappear. But God never leave from you even one second. He is the, your father, mother. You need to live with him every second, every day, forever. Wow, he that much love me. He never separate from me. He never lived from me. Oh, what kind of person he is. That's why the most important thing is what? How can we build up artistic relationship between he and me? Money is not the issue. Position is, is not the issue. You recognize me, I recognize you. That is not the issue. Just, just parent and child. Just you are my father, I'm just your son. That's it. Then what's the most important parent and child? What's the most important thing? That is hard. Without you, I cannot survive. Son, without you, I cannot survive. Father, without you, I cannot survive. 
the kind of intimate, 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 artistic, inseparable relationship. That is everything. Heaven waited for me and prepared the first wave I went. <clears throat> Even when I woke up in the morning, before I woke up, God was getting up and preparing them already. I always feel that. I wake up, already God wake up. He prepared everything for me. Every morning I wake up. 2.50, 3 o'clock. And I say, good morning, Heavenly Father. He already got up. And then I ask God, Heavenly Father, yesterday I whole day preparing the, some spiritual food your children. What is the two days, uh, you know, daily bread, daily spiritual bread? What is the today's manna for your children? For me, no idea. I, even though I prepare, I do not know which part I need to emphasize. And I kneel down and pray about it. And God came to me, strong inspiration. Today, you need to talk this area. So, I am glad every morning I can communicate with God. He gives me strength and wisdom. He providing what the daily spiritual food, what the today's manna and quail. Thank God, He's really, He always everything do ahead. Wherever I went, God went ahead and waited. If I come to know that God is worrying about me and crying over me for 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, I can feel that. Wow. God is really my parents. Hmm? God is not just concept. God is really, really my father. He's really my mother. But he lost his children. I lost my daddy. I lost my mom. I am an orphan. As an orphan, day and night looking for my parents. Where's my father? Where's my mother? And parents continuously hold they whole months, whole year, 10 years, 100 years, 6,000 years, just only one thing focus, with my child, searching for child. God becomes my parents only when I experience and realize how much heavenly parents love me. When you recognize God, how much you love me, and automatically you build up the relationship, parent and child, between God and you. When I come to know that God has huh, un unrequited, requited love, means what? Chaksarang, one-sided love for me. I have a parent to child relationship with God. I always, last time I introduced about God's love is Chaksarang. Chaksarang means one sided love. God, no matter what, continuously love me. Even though I betray him, even though I do not notice him, he loves me all the time. We call one side of love in Korean, Chaksara. Chaksara. He always Chaksara for me. Huh? I forget God. Every day I forget God. 
Sometimes I abandon him. Sometimes I do not notice. I sometimes I do not know his suffering. I sometimes I do not know his God of the sorrow. However, he's hiding his emotion. How much sorrowful he is, he hiding his emotion. Forget his own situation. Still searching for me. Still caring for me. Cry for me. Worry about me. Wow. That is God's one side of love, which is Chak Sarang Korean word. Chak Sarang. He is Chak Sarang until now. For 6,000 years, how many of them know he is Chak Sarang? How many of them really know? When we notice God's love, then no more chaksarang because understand each other, experience each other. I think God's chaksarang, when I realize He loves me so much, then no more chaksarang because understand each other. When God can graduate His chaksarang, one side of love, when I truly recognize how much he loves me. Then he graduated his jaksara. And then God started to cry. Now you recognize me, me, you know, as your father. True parents can become my parents only when I come to know that true parents have shed tears for me. Then you can beat up the hardest parents and try relationship with the true parents. In the end, during the time given to me, I need to establish a hardest relationship through the parent and child relationship in the relationship between God and I and between true parents and, uh, and I. I need to have a hardest exchange with all beings related to me, centering on the parent and child relationship with God. All things individuals, families, nations, world, spiritual world. Whenever I relate with anything, what's the purpose to relate to anything? Hardistic relationship. There's no hardistic relationship, whatever you uh, relate to something. Relate to each item of all things, relate to your friends, your neighbor, your father and mother, your own children. You know, do not relate to something with a heart. Just you are clinging symbol. Just a noisy gong. Just waste your time. Even the whole day work so hard. Without heart, just you are workaholic. But put your heart, your emotion, that's the purpose of our life. Giving and receiving without heartistic exchange is just a waste of time. What's the purpose of our life? How to build up heartistic relationships. Only that result remain in spiritual world forever. Are you? So we need to know that. God shed tears for me all the time. God is doing his chaksarang, one side of love for me all the time. Does not matter you recognize me or not. Does not matter you love me or not. Does not matter you hate me or not. His love is eternal. His love is unchanging. His love is absolute. No matter what. That's why he's God. <laughs> eternal God. When we notice his eternal love, eternally chaksarang, no matter what. 
when we notice them, we can confess that you are my eternal father. You are my eternal mother. I am your eternal child. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Young, for that um, beautiful message that you shared with all of us, um, always letting us know that God is here with us. And especially, we are definitely experiencing uh, the point that God prepares before we even wake up this morning because God is preparing morning devotion through you, Dr. Young, and your incredible level of Jansung that you're offering to uh, all of us and to the world. So thank you very much for that. So brothers and sisters, now uh, we'd like to take this time uh, to go back into our breakout rooms and share uh, any takeaways and insights from this morning devotion. And for anyone who is watching the recording, uh, please uh, watch it uh, or reflect uh, on your own at this time. So let us open the breakout rooms.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. I hope uh, you had an amazing sharing with one another. Um, so uh, to have our first sharing, uh, actually, the person that I was with uh, has asked not to be called upon. Uh, so I think uh, I'd also just like to share uh, briefly um, uh, with my own reflection. Uh, what really struck to my heart was the point of just how much God has per worked and really poured out his heart uh, for where I am right now. The fact that I can stand here, the fact that I'm alive as a second generation, uh, the fact that I have so many experiences where I was able to grow and understand God's heart. I just trying to think how much God has shed his tears, but also most especially true parents as the representatives of God, the best representatives, the true parents of all humankind. You know, I don't necessarily have a personal relationship with true parents. It was always been, I guess, juxtaram, a one-way relationship where I would join true parents at East Garden at 5 a.m. <laughs> and I would just listen. Yeah. Um, but true parents have really sacrificed their entire life for all members and especially as for second uh, generation, all the brothers and sisters, the friends that I have right now are thanks to true parents and thanks to God and the incredible uh, investment that they've poured out. So yeah, understanding that I'm incredibly grateful for what true parents and God was able to offer, but also brings me, my heart to a burning point of that uh, I want to do more. And that, that I want to really, yeah, use what they really poured out into me for the sake of the world and yeah. supporting their providence. Great. Great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. And uh, also, I'd like to uh, ask uh, now Reverend Rundle uh, if you can share your uh, reflection <laughs> as well. Wow. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm just, I'm so deeply grateful for these morning devotions. And Dr. Yang, your testimony this morning was so moving to me. And your faith, your obedience, your diligence. And I know from working with you, your authenticity, uh, you truly, you truly love God and true parents so much. And you love brothers and sisters so deeply. It's true that Dr. Yang gets up early in the morning. He gets up before me when I stay at, at Belvedere. Every single morning he's up, he's praying, he's preparing for the morning service. His investment, brothers and sisters, is just so, so incredible and so real. And I, it's a, a great blessing for me to be able to work with him. It's a great blessing for us to have him in America during this time. So. Thank you, Dr. Young. Um, Samida, only we'll do I, better. We, I already miss you. When do you come back? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be coming back soon, Dr. Young. So thank God you. bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much, Reverend Rendell, for your sharing. Uh, so at this time, uh, yeah, bef before we get into the musical offering, um, because we receive so much uh, every day uh, for, through morning devotion, uh, I'd like to encourage everyone uh, to, yeah, to be able to give back anything that comes from your heart in uh, supporting this morning devotion ministry. And so we will have the donation link uh, in the chat and also here out right in front of your screen. And so uh, for our musical offering, uh, I'd like to invite up uh, Pastor Levi Darty. So, Pastor Levi, if you can unmute yourself. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> oh, Levi Dory! Wow! Thank you for your offering song. Thank you. Um, my Secretary General, uh, Jen Sik Moon, uh, heard me sing a song, and she said, you ought to sing that song uh, on the morning devotions, and I said, but now it's 
it's an old song and I'm an old man and nobody's interested. But she said she liked it. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you during the, the the seminar, you saw that song is it was really really beautiful, powerful. <laughs> Thank you. Well, here's one that um, that helped me a lot. And I hope that I can sing it early in the morning. But anyway, pray for me. And it's about a, a robin who was praising the Lord uh, by singing a song. And if a robin can say thank you, we can say it too. <clears throat> I woke up early this morning. My heart was beating right on time. Lord, I truly thank you for opening up these eyes of mine. When I walked over to my window while looking through the shade, once again I had to tell him, thank you, Lord. Thank him for another day. Now the sun was brightly shining. The wind was blowing not too strong. In a treetop just a few feet away was a robin singing a song. I don't know what he was singing. Pretty soon he was on his way. Who can say he wasn't being playful? Thank him for another day. Everybody ought to praise his name. Be thankful and praise his name. Everybody ought to praise his name. Yeah, yeah. For if a robin can say thank you, you can say it too. You can say it too. Listen. Now the sun was brightly shining. The wind was blowing not too strong. In a treetop just a few feet away was a robin singing a song. Then he flew to another tree a little bit higher and began to sing again. I don't know what he was singing. Tweet, tweet, tweetly deep. Thank you for another day. Everybody ought to praise his name. Be thankful and praise his name. Everybody ought to praise his name. Yeah, yeah. For if a robin can say thank you, you can say it to a oh, Lord. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I just thank you all the days of my life. Oh, yes, I truly thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I just thank you. I thank you. I thank you. Thank you all the days of my life. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you, thank you. What I thank you, thank you. 감사합니다. <laughs> Ooh, hallelujah! Thank you, Reverend Levi. Wow. We are fully, our hearts are full with the Holy Spirit now. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, to close up uh, this morning devotion experience, I'd like to invite up Shogo Nakaza for the closing prayer, please. All right, thank you, brothers and sisters. Uh, please join me in prayer. Our dearest, our most beloved heavenly parent, our victorious, true parents of heaven, earth, and humankind. We just want to say thank you to you this morning, Heavenly Parent, for the incredible, profound love that you constantly pour out to us and fill us up with, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, how long have you really waited? waiting for children who can respond to you, waiting for people who even understand the depth of the love that you're sharing. And Heavenly Parent, that through, through to your mother every single day, through Dr. Young every single day, Heavenly Parent, you're sharing your word, Heavenly Parent, you're sharing your love. And Heavenly Parent, sometimes it's a repetitive message, Heavenly Parent, 
sometimes member asks members ask why mother says the same things why does dr young keep emphasizing one point over and over again but heavenly parent that within that is your deep love and heavenly parent what we don't understand is really your heart that you're trying to convey how desperate mother is not wanting to let you wait anymore how desperate Dr. Young is Heavenly Parent. Try to share your heart of sorrow with us so that we can understand and comfort you. And so Heavenly Parent, that it takes us so long to understand these seemingly simple but incredibly deep points, Heavenly Parent. That if we can simply open ourselves up and let ourselves fully receive the message instead of wondering why a certain message is being given, Heavenly Parent, just receive your love every day, then Heavenly Parent, we can fully be revived. We can feel the Holy Spirit every single day filling us up. And so, Heavenly Parent, we want to really just thank you and Heavenly Parent, offer our determination to you, offer our hearts to you today, Heavenly Parent, knowing that you're working so deeply inside of each of our lives. And so, Heavenly Parent, we have Mother coming in a few months. Hopefully, by June, Heavenly Parent, that Mother will be able to come and really in person be in America. And Heavenly Parent, how much are we preparing our hearts for that every single day, Heavenly Parent? Preparing to welcome her mother, Heavenly Parent, that we love so much, Heavenly Parent. We want to intentionally prepare our hearts, make an offering to her of all the activities that we're doing, Heavenly Parent. Heavenly Parent, if Mother is joining us on a national event within America within this month, Heavenly Parent, we want to ask what kind of heart do we want to have prepared for her when she comes? What kind of result do we want to report to her when she comes? So, Heavenly Parent, we want to really align ourselves and really have this deep love and have this heart of wanting to offer back to you, this heart of Hyojun. So Heavenly Parent, we just want to really ask that you can continue to guide us. Heavenly Parent, we hope that we can really comfort and ease your heart today. So Heavenly Parent, thank you so much. We love you. So this is my name, Shogun Akaza, son of Koki, and my name and all of our names gathered here. Amen and Aju. Aju. Aju, thank you so much. Thank you, Shogun, for your heartfelt prayer. And with that, thank you, Dr. Yong. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us for this morning devotion and pouring out your sincere devotion. And I wish you a blessed day, and we'll see each other tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Yoshi. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.